Alright, Barakat Yahweh, Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. And salutations unto the brothers and sisters out there pushing the truth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright, um, my name is Yeramya from GMS Toronto. I got the brother here. Shalom. Alright. Alright, uh, Gabar from uh, Toronto Camp. Shalom. All right. Um, and today, basically, we're just going to go into uh, uh, a topic we were speaking about uh, yesterday at camp, me and this brother, and um, uh, basically about order and, and different levels of, uh, of, of operations that the Lord has and um, how, how it works, basically, you know, because a lot of a lot of it tells you in the second Timothy that that in the last days, men, sh men shall be lovers of themselves. You know, being boastful and proud and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, and this is not the time to be proud, you know, because the Lord, it tells you, is coming back to bring the haughtiness of men down. You know, um, so I want we're going to start off with Judges 7 and wherever the spirit goes, we're going to go with it. Um, but the, the lessons here is, is very important. You know, uh, I was reading over today um, and, and, and there's a lot of things in there. So we're going to read Judges 7 and mostly of, of chapter 8. So whenever you're ready, I. Uh, whatever you got, bring it out. Yeah, Khan, um, this is uh, Judges 7 and 1. It says, Then Jerobel, Jerobel uh, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched beside the well of Harad so that the host... So, so, it's like it. so Gideon, um, which when you look up Jerubal, or Jerubal, um, it basically means... Baal contendus, which I can look it up, but um, his name was changed. His father gave him that name when I believe he uh tore down the altar of Baal. Um, but his, I, I have it here. Khan, you can bring it out, huh? That's Satan, man. I gotta call the brother back. Satan, boy. You know, Satan's trying to stop this word, but it's still going to come out, man, no matter what. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. I'll call this brother back. Yeah, that's Satan, man. Satan tried to interrupt the show. Yeah, Khan. All right. Definitely. Yeah, so you had the story, right? Yeah, I had the uh, definition of uh, Jeroboam if you wanted it. Oh, Khan, I was holding it, but you can bring it out, Doc. Uh, yeah, Khan, um, this is uh, H3378, and I'll let it say it. It's from H3378. Jeroboam. Jeroboam. Right, and it means let Baal contend. It says a name given to Gideon by his father when he destroyed the altar of Baal. Gone. So this this guy Gideon, he was a powerful man. When you read, we're gonna read the story. He was a very very powerful man, and he was a leader that the Most High set up to deliver the the, the Israelites, the children of Israel who were stiff necked. And this story, man, you know, I get so passionate because I read it. It's going to show you the simplicity of Jake, man, because right after he delivered them, they just went a whoring off again. And we're going to get into that. But this story really sums up the nature of, of, of a two third man of a bird brain you know, huh. and, 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 and the power on the right hand side, because this man was very powerful. He was from the tribe of Manasseh, by the way. All right. And, and we know through the, uh, 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 the book of First Chronicles, I forget which chapter, but it tells you the three main warrior tribes that the most I had was Gad, Reuben and Manasseh. Uh, today are the so-called Cubans, you know, so continue up. God, <clears throat> it says, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of Mari uh, in the valley. And Yahweh by Shemir Shai said unto Gideon. And, 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 and the Midianites were Ishmaelites. All right, that was, that was a, a tribe of the Ishmaelites, an offspring, right, which is uh, today the so-called Arabs. All right. God. It says, And Yahweh by Shemir Shai said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites <clears throat> into their hands. So the Lord is saying basically that there's too many, too many warriors. You know, there's too many soldiers. And 
what what this story is going to is going to show you is that the lord he likes to uh uh, uh he likes to shut up many in the hands of few, so to speak. You know, he likes that, he likes that hard battle, that battle that everyone says, "Oh, that's impossible," or "You're crazy." And, and the Lord likes that turnaround. You know, the the little guy defeating the, the right. big guy. You know, like David and Goliath. You know, kind of it, it gives you that awe, like, "Oh, we can't mess it. We can't mess with their power." You know, kind of, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, it says, "Lest Israel uh, vaunt themselves against me, saying." My own hand has saved me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Khan. You see, so so they would say, oh, that was in the numbers. Right? Oh, yeah. They have so many soldiers. So, because the Most High knows how Israel is. You know, they're Khan. proud, man. That's right. It says, now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Galilee. And there returned of the people 20 and 2,000, and there remained 10,000. Khan, because in the law, um, in the Torah, Torah um, it tells you that there were certain uh, 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 proclamations made before you went to battle. Like one of them was what the brother just read about uh, the commander or the chief. He would, he would ask who's afraid, and whoever's afraid, you got to admit it, because if you're afraid, you can't go to battle. You can't, you That's can't, right. you can't, uh, uh, um, pretend. It, there was actually more shame in pretending than going home, because if you went home, you would at least, you know, you went home. If you if you went to battle okay. pretending you were courageous and you were actually afraid, you could get many people killed because you're not doing your job. You That's know, right. You can you can cause a lot of a stumble, so to speak. So that was one of the laws that the men had to read. And there was also other laws about if, if a man had a uh, just married a, a wife, he 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 took a year off. He he had a whole year with the woman. So those, yeah, men, those men weren't uh, uh, eligible or they didn't have a responsibility to go to war, you know? Come. <clears throat> um, continuing on in verse 4, it says, And Yahweh Bashamir Shah said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down onto the water, and I will try them for thee there. Because uh, another reason why they were afraid, because them people in the ancient world, they were, we were the smallest nation, basically. You know, it That's tells right. you, uh, uh, I forget which book, but it tells you um, the Lord didn't choose it because you're I, the greatest. You know, you, I got you, it. I actually got the precept That's if you want it. That's a spirit. Bring it up. Come on. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 7. It says, yeah, how about. That's Satan, man. That's just Satan, man. Satan's always trying to stop the word, man. Yeah, Satan is trying to, yeah, trying yeah. to enter. Con. Con. Yeah, I'll read it again. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 7. It says, Yahweh Hashem said, did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. That's right. It says, Con. yeah, it comes. So that right there is showing you that the Most doesn't have favor in, in huge numbers. You know, that's right. Um, going back to uh, Judges seven and four, I'm started again. And the Habashimish I said unto Gideon, the people are yet too many. Bring them down onto the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go with thee. The same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee. This shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So it says, So he brought down the people unto the water, and Yahweh by Shemir Shad said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that lappeth, putting their hand to their mouth were 300 men, but all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And that was symbolic because the Lord does things in, in omens and, and signs, you know, and in, in wonders, man, because that's a that's a that's a different thing. You read that and you're like, these guys are, 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 are you know, <laughs> lapping the, the water like a dog and other men are just, you know, putting okay. their hands. 
the Lord likes it like that. So from ten thousand, there was three hundred men, and that's and 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 that's what the Lord is going to use as we're going to read on. Con, if I can say something quick too, Elder, yep. and that comes to show you um, who's really watchful of on the corners, because if someone is bound down their head and concentrated on drinking, so if you're not aware of people around you, but the ones that are watching, you know, well, that's and, and, and that's why he said like a dog, because what is a dog right. faithful? That's why that's right. Caleb, his name means dog. Con. Right. And, and, and it wasn't a, in a disgraceful way, because there's twofold uses of that. Right. The, that's right. Like the same meaning for serpent. There can be a, it, it, it can be on the right hand or on the left hand. That's why That's the Lord right. Shai, he told us be wise as a serpent, meaning we're not supposed to lie and trick people. I mean, we're supposed to be subtle, uh, uh, a supplanter like Jacob, Yaiqua, right? Uh, so the Lord, he used that uh, symbology of a dog, meaning, you know, those those are the men. Those are loyal loyal men. Right? That's right. Um, continuing on, verse 7, it says, And Yehaba Shemeshai said unto Gideon, By the 300 men that lap it, will I save you. And deliver the Midianites into thy hand, and let all the other people go every man unto his place. It says, so the people took uh, victuals in their hand and their trumpets, and he set all the rest of Israel, every man, unto his tent, and retained those three hundred men, and the host of the Midian was beneath him in the valley. It says um, and it came to pass that the same night that Yahweh Shemeshai said unto him, Arise, get thee down unto the host, for I have delivered it unto thy hand. Verse 10. But if thou fear to go down, go thou with Farah, thy servant, down to the host, and thou shalt hear. Because even, even in those times, as strong as men were, you know, we're still in the flesh. So the That's Lord right. knows. The Lord told you, you know, uh, it's one thing the Lord telling you he's gonna deliver the host in your, in, into your hand, but when you hey, when you see that host, because like like I said, it was a it's gonna tell you they were like grasshoppers for, for, uh, to be seen. So it was it was, a, it was like a big multitude of men. So he, the Lord mm. knows you, you know. He'll tell you, but if you if you fear, go down with the servant, you know. Wow, it's like um I believe it is with Gideon when the Most High sent an angel to tell him what to do to mm. deliver his people, but he said, "If thou be true, um." Uh, put dew on the grass, but not this certain spot, mm -hmm. you know, roughly paraphrasing, because he, he is still in the flesh. Like, even though the most he's going to do this and this, he wanted to make sure that, you know, nothing bad happened to him That's for right. him to do so, you know? That's right. Um, Continuing on, it says, verse 11, it says, and thou shalt hear what they say, and afterward shall thy hands be strengthened to go down onto the host. Then went he Man, Satan, you're not going to stop the program, man. You know? We're, we're going to rebuke you in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Satan. <laughs> yeah, come. You know? You ain't stopping this lesson. Yep. Um, Georgia 7 11, again, it says, And thou shalt hear what they say, and afterward shall thy hand be strengthened to go down unto the host. Then went he down with Pharaoh, his servant, unto the outside of the armed men that were in the host. And the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the children of the east lay along in the valley like grasshoppers for a multitude. God, meaning there was, there, it, was, it was plentiful, man. You know, and the dirty ass bastards, Amalekites, you know, they were partaking in that too. Because hey, that, that's, that, that's how you know who the Amalekites are. Because they probably heard the Midianites are going to war with the Israelites. The Amalekites are like, hey, we're going to join in and fuck these. Jake's up, these Israelites up, you know, that's a, that's the a nature of an Amalekite, man. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, because when we were coming out of the land, what were Amalekites doing? They were coming behind the uh, 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 the congregation and, and they were slaying the women and, and, and children, the weak. Come. You know, they were coming behind and, and trying to kill us. Same thing they're doing today, man, you know, through um, covert operations, you know. That's right. You know, taking the our women and putting them in uh, uh, sex slave trades, Come. man. You know, all those things. They're not really going after the men because they know the men are powerful, but it's the women, man. That's right. You know, same thing. It says, And the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the children of the east lay along in the valley like grasshoppers for multitude, and their camels were without number as the sand of the sea. 
sighed for multitude. And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled in Salakia, barley bread tumbled into the host of Median and came unto a tent and smote it that it fell and overturned it that the tent lay along. Yeah, man, because in the ancient world, you had, see, it, it doesn't say Gideon, it was a man uh, that told his fellow. So it was, it was it was like a random Israelite who had a dream, you know, and, and like these things happen and they're going to start happening more because the Most High is, 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 is starting to deal with his elect more and more. He's, he's coming God. nearer and nearer to us, so it's going to get way more spiritual, you know, and certain brothers God. already have certain dreams. You know, and, and this really reminds me of um, the uh, uh, the fight with the Gadites with uh, Custer, General Custer, where uh, the day before the battle, uh, the, the the head chief sitting bull, he had a dream that the uh, the American cavalry they were uh, given into their hands basically. You know, and the next day it was it was a great overthrow. You know, because Esau came in there proud, thinking he can take down the the the, the, the savages, right, and and they were <laughs> delivered into their hands. So it just reminds me of that. It's all spiritual. It all ties back, you know. Gone, you know, because dreams, because that is that goes back to um, I believe it's like Job thirty three and sixteen. Yeah. When he says um, I could get that. He gives him bit. Yeah, come, Baba Kishore, because even that's the way the Most High speaks to you about what what's gonna happen. Even that's in, that's including instructions, you know, because you might see a dream and it's like your instructions is to understand that this will happen in whatever period of time it happens in, you know, we can't say the next day or whatever, because, um, the example of that was, uh, Joseph and, uh, the Pharaoh, you know, the, the Pharaoh had a dream about something happening, but that was like two parts, seven day, seven years of famine. No, seven, seven, seven years, years of harvest. Yeah. Seven years. And then seven years of famine. Yeah, seven years of good. Effort. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Con. I got so, uh, I got the precept on. Yeah, go ahead. I, this is uh Job thirty three and fourteen. It says, For the most high speaketh once, yea twice, yet man perceiveth it not. Con. Right? And that's spiritual because there's sayings like that, you know, like, oh, you just gotta listen. You know, the message is there, you just gotta listen to that little you know, like people say you're, you're that little voice inside your head. That's that's the uh, uh, the tether line to the spiritual realm that the Most High instructs you. You know, that's not your own conscience. Right. That's not your own being. That's the Most High imparting that into you. You know, that's right. Um, that's because right. it says man perceiveth it not because you got to you got to listen to it. That's um, right. Verse 15 in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed. Then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. Yeah, and that's exactly what um, this Israelite was uh, saying. Hey, we're, we're going to keep going, man. We're going to keep going. With the spirit of Yahweh Bashim no Shai. Salakia. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't really understand his interpretation because the the way Esau's messed everything up with dreams and artists and stuff, we can't really interpret. But we were wiser back then. But those everything is an instruction, man. Well, Even you had, if you had interpreters of dreams, that was a gift, right? Yeah, come. Yeah, hey, like it goes back to what? Joseph, you know, Daniel. You know, because um the kings and the pharaohs would have dreams, but they couldn't interpret it. That's right. And he even called the Pharaoh called all his magis and all the wise men and, and, and whatnot. They couldn't bring Come. Come. Um, so I'm going to keep reading. It says, verse uh, 17, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. It says, uh, he keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. Because you might have a will. You want to do something bad tomorrow. You wake up, your whole mood has changed. Your whole intent has changed. That's the most I instructed you. Con. And 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 that can be a beautiful thing because 
that yeah, all of that like, could have lead to your death. You could have oh, yeah, died that day. Well, that's why he says him. he keepeth back his soul from the pit, from the trap. <laughs> that's right. Con. Hey, and and I know every uh, R can attest to this because you might wake up one day or not even like the day before you had plans to go maybe to a party, whatever the case may be, and then you wake up and you're just not feeling it. You know, you might feel sick or you might feel like, oh, I'd rather do this because, you know, I have to get this done or whatever. That's the most like keeping you. Hey, and then that same night, that same club you wanted to go to got shot up. That's right. You know, it's just it's, it's things like that. That's right, know? man. That's right. Hey, I remember one time we, we were, we were uh, walking downtown years ago with the brothers, man. It was New Year's Eve. We were walking like in the club district area and we were like, oh, let's go here. Let's go there. And literally, man. Like people were partying and and there was a shooting there. Someone got stabbed there. Some like there was three shootings, like four stabbings, and we're like walking, seeing yellow tape, and people are just like walking, partying and shit. And we're just like, hey man, we gotta get the fuck out of here, man. But, <laughs> but sometimes we see things like that. The most I shows us like we're, we're protected, but the most has literally shown us death. And it's very special right. because it tells you in the book of Psalm, ten thousand shall fall at thy left side. You know, okay. yeah, man, because. When, whoever those men are, you get beamed up. You're gonna literally see twenty thousand people drop dead here. Fifty. It's gonna be crazy, man. Con. That's right. And it's gonna be like it never was, man, and never will be. That's right. You know. That's right. Um. So it says, verse uh, nineteen. He is chastened also with pain upon his bed, and the multitude of his bones with strong pain, so that his life abhorreth bread, and his soul dainty meat. That's showing you, Mosai can put depression on you, man. Just right. You know, he, he can put a plague on your mind through sleep. Um, it's kind of, his his flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen, and his bones that were not seen stick out. <laughs> yeah, and that's and I believe that's just going down back to that the depression, that sorrow yeah. that you have. You know, it's like it's eating your flesh, but it's not physically eating you, but spiritually, it's almost like you're dying. Right. You know, you feel like there's no hope sometimes. You know, that's why it says um, you got to stick with the spirit and really trust in your Abba Because ultimately, it's a test. It's like, okay, since you feel sorry for you, you're not going to do the work today, or you're not going to read today, or you're not going to, you know, it's, it, it, everything is a test yeah, by your yeah, one, one of the symptoms of depression is uh, lack of, loss of appetite. So that's why it says his soul, is, is, so that his life abhorreth bread and his soul dainty meat. So, you know, you, you don't feel like eating. And, and if on. you continue in that di downward spiral, um, that that shit can consume you until you literally perish, man. That, that's what we're right. into. But the most high, like it, you, like this brother said, Salak, you want uh, uh, you got to bring this out. Like this brother said, the most high will put you into that, and it tells you in Corinthians that he knows how much you can take, and he'll, he'll deliver you right at that last moment before you perish, man. Yeah, huh? That's right. That's right. You had something to say? Huh? Uh, no, I was just gonna say that. Uh, uh, because at the end, right, it's like the most the, the most high really can uh, push you to the limit to the last second just to see whether you're going to still hang in there or bail. That's right. Ultimately, you know, and it, um, I was about to say Jonah is an example of that, you know, because um, Jonah was ready to die and all that stuff. He was angry, you know, and he, he was pretty hey man, much he was in the he was in the bowels of a whale, you know. Uh, which I, I, which wasn't a whale. If you look up that word, it just means a sea creature. It was a, some kind of sea monster. But um, uh -huh. hey, man, that's nasty, man. That, that's some GI. Uh, you got some, uh, 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 you know, all that juice and shit and acid and mm. smell and rotten food. So he was bugging uh -huh. out. He's like, what the fuck's going? He was hit, what three? <laughs> three nights. He was bugging out. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was gonna die. Satan, man. You're not overcoming, man. Shalom. Khan. Yeah, yeah. Stuff Satan. It seems to be messing up the whole thing. You want me to go back in Judges? Yeah, yeah. We can go back. Huh. Um, this is verse, um, I'll start at verse 14, that the tent lay along, and his fellow answered and said, There is nothing else save the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel, for into his hand had Yahweh delivered Median and all the hosts. It says, 15, 
And it was so when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped and returned into the host of Israel and said, Arise, for Yahweh shall have delivered into your hand the host of Midian. Um, verse 16 says, And he divided the 300 men into three companies, and he put a trumpet in every man's hand with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me and do likewise, and behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall do so like it shall be that as I do, so shall ye do. You still there, Elder? Yeah, I have to make sure because Satan, you know, messing up. Um, verse eighteen says, "And when I blow with a trumpet, and I and all that are with me, then blow ye the trumpet also on every side of all the camp, and say, the sword of Yahweh by Shemeshai and of Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men that were with him." came onto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch and they had but newly set the watch and they blew the trumpets and break the pitchers that were in their hand and the three hundred and the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers and held the lamps in their hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow withal and they cried the sword of Yahabai Shemir Shai and of Gideon and they stood every man in his place round about the camp, and all the hosts ran and cried and fled. Verse 22. And the 300 blew the trumpets, and Yahweh Shemshai set every man's sword against his fellow, even throughout all the hosts. And the hosts fled to Beth Shita in Zeriah and to the border of Ab Abel Moala unto Tabath, and the men of Israel gathered themselves together out of Nephali, Nephtali, Selachia, yeah, and out of Asher, and out of all of Manasseh, and pursued after the Midianites. Verse, verse 24. Want me to read it? To yeah. The end? Yeah. Come. And Gideon sent messengers through all Mount Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites, and take before them the waters unto Beth Beriah and Jordan. Then all the men of Ephraim gathered themselves together and took the waters onto Beth, ba Beth Bariah and Jordan, and they took two princes of the Midianites, Arib and Zeeb, and they slew Arib upon the rock. Arib, <laughs> I have to read that again because they said they and they slew Arib upon the rock. Arib, you know that's embarrassing, <laughs> and Zeeb. They slew at the wine press of Zeeb and, <laughs> and pursued Midian and brought the heads of Erib and Zeeb to Gideon on the other side, yeah, man, Jordan. That's, 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 that's spiritual, man, <laughs> if the Lord did it, you know. Come. Um, yeah, we're going to read also the next chapter, too. Come. Judges on chapter 8, verse 1. It says, and the men of Ephraim said unto him, Why hast thou served us thus, ser served us thus, that thou callest us not, when thou wentest to fight with the Medianites? And they did chad with him sharply. If I can say something quickly on this other, yo, see, like quickly, you know, Jake is quick to start an argument. How come he didn't call us? Controversy. You know, yeah. <laughs> You know, that's Jake, man. Oh, yeah, he, and that's he, Ephraim, too, man. Ephraim is proud, man. It tells you Ephraim is, a, is proud. Con. Because I got to call it there. Oh, that's not the one. Yeah. yeah. It's all safe. Man. And that shows, man, that um, they're probably looking at Gideon like he wanted the glory for himself, not, not even acknowledging that the Most High, you know, set them in order to do so. That's right, you know? Um, verse 2, it says, And he said unto them, What have I done now in comparison of you? Is not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Abizar? Yahweh hath delivered into your hands the princes of Median, Arib, and Zeeb. And what was I able to do in comparison of you? Then their anger was abated toward him when he had said that. <laughs> and and Gideon came to Jordan and passed over. He and the 300 men 
that were with him faint yet pursuing them. And he said unto the men of Sukkoth, Give, I pray you, loaves of bread unto the people that follow me, for they be faint, and I am pursuing after Ziba and Zalmunna, kings of Median, and the princes of Zukath said, Are the hand of Ziba and Z Zalmunna now in thine hand, that we should give bread unto thine army? And Gideon said, Therefore, when Yahweh by Shemir Shai had delivered Ziba and Z And with briars. Yeah, man. They, Gideon and, said, hey, when I fuck them up, I'm going to come back and kill you motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. God. Hey, Straight, man. That that shows you, and Gideon was favored of the Lord. So you people out there, man, talking about, oh, you guys are rough and you guys say shit and you guys say fuck. Listen, man, the men of the Most High were rough, man. That's a serious death. He's going to tear your flesh with thorns of the wilderness and with briars, man. You know? That, that sounds like some uh, serial killer shit. You know, like some, 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 some. You know, some, some, some tyrant. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Some like, tyrant. That sounds like some King Jong Un shit, or you know, or some, or some Hitler shit. <laughs> yeah. you know? He didn't have to sneak and come back and sneak. He told you what he's going to do right after. He's like, once I'm done over there, I'm going to come right back here and handle the business with you, man. Yep. You know? Uh, verse 8 says, And he went up thice to Peniel and spake unto them likewise. And the men of Peniel answered him, as the men of Sukkoth had answered him. And he spake also unto the men of Peniel, saying, When I come again in peace, I will break down this tower. <laughs> says, now where, Zabba, on, like, where's, the, where's the love? Where, where's all, all everyone? everyone's equal and, and, and turn the other cheek and all that, man? Come on. You know? Hey, the, uh, this is getting giving death threats to Israel, man. Hey, he's threatening people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, and, and who can say anything because the Lord was with him and the Lord uh, uh, anointed him to save the children of Israel. That's right. He was favored of the Lord, man. That's right. And guess and what? Says, the most high spirit was on him, man. That's right. Just like how you have the men, um, you know, of um, of GMS, man, the prophet of, and the highways and byways. That's why all these people, they can get mad. You know, two-thirds of our people can you know, yell and say they want to fight us or whatever, but at the end of the day, it's like you can't do anything. Like, can't Why? Because the Spirit Why? of the Lord is with us. You know? And you better hope you know? certain brothers don't get that spirit of Gideon, man, and fuck your ass up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Because there ain't going to be no there stopping us or pleading in that day. That's right. No? no. Um, it says, um, it, 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 it says uh, uh, like in the Apocrypha, they shall be like madmen, spirit none, which is... These are the people, but that's how that's how that spirit's gonna be on 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 the on the on the uh, the hunters, man. Pertain, uh, pertaining to Jeremiah sixteen, what is that? Sixteen. Yeah, sixteen, 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 sixteen. Gone. Gone. Yep. Um, continuing on in Judges continuing eight and ten, eight and it says 10. now Zeba and, and Zumana were in Karkor, Karkor, and their hosts with, with them about fifteen thousand men, men, all that were left of all the hosts of the children of the east, for there fell. A hundred and twenty thousand men that drew sword. That drew sword. You see, by uh, three hundred uh, men. Yeah. Three hundred yeah. men subdued a hundred and twenty thousand, and there's only uh, fifteen thousand men left. That's a serious spirit. <laughs> Yo, and, 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 it's, and it says three hundred, not two hundred and eighty. No one died, man. No one died. That means they had spiritual power, man. That's right. For 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 three hundred right. men to take up a hundred to kill a hundred twenty thousand men. On. That means they have spiritual power, man. That means no spirit can puncture you. No sword can cut you. That means, hey man, you were some, you're on some Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Satan, man, I know you're angry, Satan, but the the word of Yahweh Hashem is stay coming out. Yeah, he, yeah, he is. Yeah. He hates this he right is. now. He hates this right now. Oh, I'm gonna continue on in oh, Judges. Continue on. On. In Judges. Um, Judges um, eight and eleven. It says, and Gideon went and up by the way of them that dwelt in the tent of the east of Nobah, and Jogbiah, and Jogbiah, and smote the host. And so the host was secure. 
and when Zabah and Zumana fled, he pursued after them and took the two kings of Median and Zabah and Zumana and discomfited all the hosts. And Gideon, the son of Joash, returned from battle before the sun was up. Hey, that's how you know. Hey, that's how you know. So quickly. Quickly, they even defeated this whole army before the sun came up. Army before the sun came yep. up. <laughs> you know, they made quick you work know, of, of quick how many? Work how many of, did they start off with? Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. You know, of men. Hundred twenty thousand men. Thousand men. Just three hundred men before the sun came up. Hey, wars nowadays, hey, wars nowadays go for days. Wars nowadays go for days. You know. You know. Um, verse fourteen. They're they're killing them in the night. It's like. Say that again, other. Say that again, other. No, I'm just saying they were killing them in the night. Gone. Gone. You know, and you know, you know, and, no, and you know, 300 men you know, and 300 against 120,000 men. That should have been an easy slaughter for 300. But hey, the, the but, Lord, man, is he's hey, powerful. The Lord, you know? man, is he's powerful. You know. Um, verse 14 um, it says, and caught a young says, man of the men of Sakoth and inquired of him and he described unto him the princes of Sakoth and the elders thereof, even three score and seventeen men. And he came unto the men of Sakoth and said, Behold, Zabah and Zalmunna, with whom ye did upbraid me, saying, Are the hands of Zabah and Zalmunna now in thine hand, that we should give bread unto thy men? That are there. Uh, he, 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 he remembered, man. Con. He remembered, Con. you know, and it was like from that scene in the Menace to Society, and when the man said, "You know, you don't fuck up," because yeah, right? he remembered. Yeah, he said, "He said, you think I was joking? I'm, I'm, I came back, man. I'm gonna fuck you guys yeah, up." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say it. Verse sixteen. It says, it. Verse 16. And, he and he took the elders of the city and thorns of the wilderness and briars, and with and them he briars. taught the men with of Sakaa. <laughs> Hey, he schooled them, man. That's what that means. He he schooled them in the art of whoop ass. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna say the next verse it says, and he verse. beat down the tower of Pinot and slew the men of the city. Slew the men of the city. You know, he wasn't playing. You know, he really, he, he really playing. did what he, really he said he was gonna do. Did what he said he was gonna do. Verse eighteen it says. Then said he unto Zabah and Zamuna, what manner of men were they whom you slew at Tabar? And they answered, as thou art, so were they. Each one resembled the children of a king. Yeah, man, you see? And and this kind of reminds me too, because people can try to say, oh, he was presumptuous or he was very proud. No, the spirit was with him. There's a difference, man, because certain men that, if that spirit's not with you, you don't... You know, you don't have it, you don't feel it, then, then you can't say certain things. But that was a bold statement that he said through the spirit of Yahweh. That's right. Shai. And it reminds right. me of certain fighters, like in boxing MMA. If you notice, uh, certain great fighters, they'll tell you, listen, I'm going to submit him or uh, in the fifth round or I'm going to knock him out. And they do it exactly how they say it, man, because that's that, that spirit's on them, man. That that's right. On them, you know? That's right. And, 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 of course, people say, oh, he's proud. He's not going to do it. And then when they do it, it becomes like a fucking highlight. It, you know, it's like, a, oh, my God. You yeah, can't. He that, that, that spirit that's right that's right no um continuing um, uh continuing, verse 19 uh, it says and he said they were my brethren even the sons of my mother as yahweh by shimir shad liveth if ye had saved them alive i would not slay you mm. it says and he said unto jathar his firstborn up and slay them but the youth drew not his sword for he feared because he was yet a youth verse 21 then zabah and zumana said rise thou and fall upon us for as the man is so is his strength and gideon arose and slew zabah and zamuna and took away the ornaments that were on their camels necks and Salakia, this this reminds me. I looked up that word. Uh, that Satan, fucking Satan, man. Um, I'm just gonna wait for the brother to call me <clears throat> to bring this point up. Yeah, Salakia. Um, uh, when you look up ornaments, it, it basically means like a, a moon crest. And uh, it uh, there's a precept to that in Isaiah three with the woman, right? Because Isaiah three is all about the Israelite woman being brought down. 
it mentions that as well. Um, matter of fact, I'll bring it out quickly. Shit, it's not good. You got it. Um, you got it. Uh, and, 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 and it's funny because these are, Ishma, these are Ishmaelites, I believe, right? Zamuna. So, um, it, you know, this is why they still have the moon crescent because they had all those ancient gods, uh, 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 deities uh, that the Ishmaelites worshipped before Muhammad came to them. You know, John. Um, John. Which he just picked another pagan deity anyway. Um, yeah, verse uh, Isaiah three and eighteen. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon, which are like the ornaments, like those, like, like the woman wear today. They have the moon crest and you know different ornaments Con. like that, which that's really Con. going into witchcraft, you know, because it, it represents uh, uh, a different god. That's right. Right. That's right. You got that. Yeah, Khan, I'm going to continue. Yeah, Khan, I'm going to continue. Um, verse 22. Um, verse 22. It says, um, it says um, Then the men of Israel said unto Gideon, Israel Will said thou Gideon, over us, both thou and thy son, and thy son's son also, that thou hast delivered us from the hand of Median. Um, verse 23. And Gideon said unto them, I will not rule over you, neither shall my son rule over you. Yahweh Shemeshai shall rule over you. That's right, man. So he was a humble guy. He was a meek person because he knew in the law in Deuteronomy tells you there shall be really no king over you like the other nations are. That's right. Right? But that's Again, right. Jake, you know, they want to be like the heathens and they want to emulate certain things that the other nations do, you know, so they uh, they saw the power. Hey, that's why it says in Psalms, thy people willing shall be willing in the day of thy power. That's, that's right. That's right. Especially these women. Especially these women. That's what that's what uh, women are attracted to. That's right. Power. Once they that's find right. a more powerful man, they're going to hop out of your car yeah. and go in their yeah. car. Yeah. But that's yeah. how it goes, man. But, um, you know... That, that was against the law. So, hey, Gideon was a That's righteous right. man. You know? That's right. He was a he was a he was a he was a down earth guy. So, he's gone. <laughs> you know, he because he could have been know, proud. He, he could have been like, hey, you know, I did fuck shit up, and I'm gonna you know do this and that. And no, he was a That's right. Guy. That's right. That's right. You know, he wasn't That's looking right. for the the he glory. You know, he just the wanted glory. to serve the Lord. Right. He just wanted to serve the Lord. That's right. Um, birth. and that's a beautiful um, spirit that brother. That's right. That's right. You know, because you got a lot. Because hey, it's like one more point too. Who really knows about Gideon? You, do you really hear about Gideon? Son. You know, you don't. You don't. You don't hear about Gideon as much as as, as other men and, and other rulers. Rightly so, like King David. You know, they're on a higher level. But still, Gideon did a lot of That's work. Right. Man. You know, you That's don't. Right. You don't really hear about that. But he was. He had it all. He had the power and he had the meekness, which goes. That's hand right. Hand because it tells That's you right. the Lord despises the proud. Con. Man. That's right. That's right. Um. Not the con. Then that's why. Next and man, then uh, Esau, man, two thirds of our people and these nations are going to be destroyed because you you can see that you, that you look, see man. It it's like a it's like a uh uh. What is the word I'm looking for? What is the looking for? No, like a like a. You know when you see something like seeping out of somebody. It's like a gaze, man. It's like it's like it's like painted on their face. You can just see it. You don't even need to try. You know. Um. Verse 24, and Gideon said unto them, I would desire a request of you that you would give me every man the earrings of his prey, for they had golden earrings because they were Ishmaelites. And they answered, Hey, them Saudis today, they got gold toilets, man, so they're rich. Yeah, that's right. Yo, Ishmael's balling, man. Ishmael has, Ishmael has, has gold beds and gold sinks. Yo, <laughs> Make it look like uh uh like America is completely uh, like broke, America man. The riches of, of people in America ain't shit. People in America, you know, ain't shit. What, you know have, what these guys have. You um, know, verse twenty five says, and they answered, "We will answered, willingly give them." And they spread a garment and they, and they cast therein every man the earrings of his prey. And that comes to show you, if I may say, elder. If I may say, at the end, all these things are gonna cough up all that gold. You know. You're, right. you're gonna give everything, everything, yeah. all, every single thing they've got. In, 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 in the book of Job, remember, I could says they have swallowed down riches. Blowing them up, that's right. Blowing them up, that's right.
Oh, are you there? Yeah, cunt. Oh, are you there? Cunt. Yeah, cunt. Yeah, um... Yeah. Um, I'm gonna continue verse 27. It says, uh, and, Gideon verse 27 made, says and, and Gideon made an if a fold. If a fold? F -fold. yeah, that's the um I believe the uh, the the breastplate. Okay, come. Um, okay, that come. the priest had, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna look it up though. Okay. But he he basically okay. made a sacrifice for the or or you know a, a gift for the um for the for the Levite, you know, the, the chief priest. I can't. It says, and the Gideon made says, an the pod made thereof and put thereof it in his city, it even in, in Ophrah, and all Israel went and all Israel hither, went a whoring after it, a whoring after which it. thing <laughs> became a snare unto Gideon, and, snare and, to his house. Gideon mm. and to his house. Mm. You see, man, Jake? That's crazy. That's it became crazy. a snare unto them, it man. a snare unto them, man. And that comes to show you, um, and that comes to show you, um, um Jake. That's why we need um, the new bodies. Jake, that's why we need the new because bodies. Because even if you get riches now, you, it, it, riches it will corrupt now, you. And remember, he was the one who said he didn't even want to rule over Israel, and he got corrupted by the riches itself. Corrupted by the riches itself. You know, it says all Israel, you know, went all Israel tether and a whoring after it, and a whoring after it. Um, verse twenty-eight. Thus Verse was Median subdued was before Median the children of Israel, Israel so the that they Israel left, so that they sorry, left, that so sorry, that, that they lifted up so their heads no more, and the country no was in quietness forty years in the days of Gideon. And Jeroboam, and Jeroboam the son of Joash, went and dwelt in his own house. And Gideon had three score and ten sons of his body begotten, for he had many wives. So he had wives. He had seven sons, man. Sons, what? Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, he, he had many yeah, wives. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that could have been ten, twenty, ten. You know, um, <laughs> verse thirty-one. Um, and his concubine, and his concubine that was a chicken. Hey, yeah, hey, concubine. He had concubines. <laughs> yeah, concubine. She could have been an Edomite. She, she could have been a Moabite. Yeah, Ishmaelite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> says, and his concubine <laughs> that was in Shechem, she, Shechem, she also bare him a son whose name he called uh, Abimelech. Uh, no, Abimelech. No, Abimelech. Um, verse 32, and Gideon, the son of Joash, died in a good old age and was buried in the subsequent um, of Joash, his father um, in Ophrah of, father in Ophrah, of the Ab I be Zerites, the, uh, I, I and it came to pass. Right. And it came to pass. That, that was it. Oh, that was, that was it. it. Finish on thirty-two. Oh, that was it. Yeah, you had any yeah, research? Khan, because um, yeah, Khan, because we're going um, into the order of things that on the most high sets certain things up, right? So um, I have I have uh Exodus uh twenty-eight and um actually I'll do numbers numbers one and fourteen. Oh, I started four. Says and with you there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of the house of his fathers. Says and these are the names of the men that shall stand with you of the tribe of Reuben, Azar the son of Jadar of Simeon, Shemuel the son of Zu Rash, Shadada of Judah, Nashon the son of Amainadad. Of Issachar, Nathiel, the son of Zuar, of Zebulon, Elaab, the son of Helan, of the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elishma, the son of Amaud, of Manasseh, Gamma Ali, the son of Pedazar, of Benjamin, Abedian, the son of Gideon, Gideona, of Dan, uh, I Azar, the son of Amashi Shaddaiah, of, Ash, of Asher, Pagiel, the son of Akran, of Gad, Alasaf, the son of Duyel, and Natali, Ariya, the son of Anan. These were the renown of the congregation princes of the tribes of their fathers, heads of thousands of Israel. And I just brought that out really just to show you that the Most High sets everything in order of who he wants to be. King, want to be prince, king, um, prince, commander, um, you know, commander, um, captains, you know, um, elders, captains, elders, priests, mm -hmm. because, um, because um, without those um, things, right, without everything those would things, fall like right, we're seeing camp yesterday, like elder. You know, because without without certain men, without, without certain men.
It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Good. Yeah. Um, I was yeah. just bringing up. Um, were you getting the call though? Bring up- huh? Huh? Were you getting the call when I was calling you or no? No, I wasn't getting it. No, I wasn't getting it. Okay. So you I just think- call me back then. Cause I, I was, think- I was, I was calling you. I was, I was, I was calling so- you. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I called you. Yeah, yeah. I called you. All right. Con. Um. Yeah, but I, br- I brought up the scripture um, pretty yeah, much. Um, bringing out the much, um, the princes. The- that the most I said over Israel and the, the army in um, Numbers 1 and 4. And I was just basically just bringing up that um, the most I put everyone in their position because every uh, Israelite has a unique every, uh, spirit to play that role, that position, that, role, that order, that position, yep, you know? That order. Um, like we were seeing yesterday um, at camp, you like know, we without camp, um, certain like, you know, uh, uh, certain, the foundation like, you know, uh, or the pillars, the man, everything would collapse. Like you got Esau. He's not meant to rule the world. And that's why the world's in chaos. That's why everyone's getting charged for everything. Stuff like that. You know? So, the angels are in order. You know? Everything in the heavens are in order. So, for us, everything has to be in order as well. You know? But women ruling over us, man. Look how the men turn out. Man, look how the men turn out. Yeah. First, first, first Corinthians 13 and 40, let all things be done decently. And that's right. And I think... um. Let me um, get the actual like definition. The actual, like, definition of, that real quick. of that real quick. Um. This is the definition of a. Uh, this is the definition of a. Uh, decent salakia. Salakia. Wrong verse. Wrong verse. Con. Okay, so Con. Okay, right here, so order. Right you still here, there with order. me, Elder? You still there with me, Con, Elder? Okay, I'm gonna play it. Okay, I'm gonna play it. Strong's G 5010. Toxus. Toxus. And it says an arranging arrangement order, a fixed succession, observing a fixed time, due or right order, orderly condition. The post rank or position which one holds in civic or other affairs um since the position generally depends on one's talent experience resources character fashion quality and style quality and style see and some some detail man beautiful you know, and that's why that's why you know, some um, brothers get mad that they're not speakers or they're not, or they're not readers or you know what I'm saying or or, or, or generally brothers don't um that aren't in the camp because um, maybe you camp. just. Maybe you know, in the spirit, you that's just not your talent, or you know, your quality. Or, you know, yeah, everyone quality. everyone has a lot. That's right. That's right. Everyone has a lot. Um, I had a actually quick precept I'll bring out on that. Um, one second. If, you, if I can say something quick, you, right? An example quick, of, of right? that is example America Got of, Talent. Is, you got everybody that wants to be stars, but they're horrible. And sometimes it's like, do you not hear yourself? But, like, but they're so blinded <laughs> of wanting to be that, that they don't understand that they're, they're, they're nowhere they close to being in that position. You know? This is Proverbs 16 and 33. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of Yahweh Right? So, the whole disposition of, of whatever a lot is, is, is controlled by that's the right. man. And there's nothing that's you can right. do about it. There's, there's, there's certain levels you can reach, and, 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 and that's, the, uh, that's the limit. 
That's right. You know, and we, right. and we don't know what that is. So that's why we got to strive and strive. Uh, uh, even the people in the world, they know you got to improve yourself daily, daily, right? So that's what you got to do in this truth. You got to try to improve and evolve daily. That's right. Daily, right. But don't that's try right. to, don't try to look at it, someone else to try to surpass them or, you know, cause that, that's basically being covetous. That's right. Or covetous. That's right. You know, you're trying to, uh, uh, in the law, it tells you don't envy anything your neighbor has. You know, brother gets new shoes. You know, hey, hey I like those shoes. You know, I want those shoes, man. Or, um, you know, I'm jealous. You know, the, you know that's not the right spirit to be in because it's all that's bad. Right. Read uh, that's right. um, Ecclesiastes, man. I forgot what chapter, but chapter two. King Solomon, he's saying all chapter is vanity, two. man. Everything is vanity. He said, I've seen all the works under the heavens. You know, everything is vanity. Everything. You and know, King Solomon everything. had everything. So, so, had everything. There's nothing in this yeah. time that you yeah, can want. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. He had more than you can imagine. You know? He had more than you can imagine. Better call his brother back. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. was it. That's all yeah. I had. That was um, it. That's all I, I had. A, I had a one more precept. This is uh, Psalm 16 and um, verse 5. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, is the portion of mine inheritance and of my mm. covenant. Thou maintainest my lot. So in every life that you come into, the Most High maintains your lot. That's right. You know? That's right. Some people are just destined to, to repeat being a serial killer or being whatever, man, being a, 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 an that's athlete. That's right. You know, that's, your, that's, that's right. a continual lot, like like a certain athletes and, and, and entertainers. That's right. Those that's people right. are back in the ancient world doing their thing. That's right. You know? You're just that's wired right. like that. Right. At the You're end, it's like, like you, can, it's end, like it's you like, don't control like, the thoughts that you have because it's most like giving you the thoughts to do what you do. You're wired to do his will. If he wants you to, you know, like the elder said, kill a bunch of people. That's what you're gonna do. Period. You know. Yeah, that's right. Hey, there was a kid. There was a kid. Um, he was like five or six, and he kept getting dreams of him being in World War Two, being an aviator pilot. See. You know, to the See? detail, and he had his he had his plane number and, and the color and all that shit. And he just like, yo, man, I was back there doing it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> there's certain people that get those recurrences. That's right. Man, you know? Like deja. The deja vu, con. The deja vu, con. You had some knock. No, that was it. Oh, there. No, that was it. Okay, so okay. we're gonna we're, we're gonna go to Second Samuel then. 23. Con. Con. Twenty three and um verse eighteen. Let's start there. Con. This Con. is a uh, Second Samuel this chapter twenty three uh, verse eighteen. And Abishah, the and brother Abishah, of Joab, the, the son of Zuriah, was chief among three, chief and he lifted up his spear against three hundred and slew them, and had the name among three. Was he not most honorable of three? Therefore, he was their captain, albeit he had tamed not unto the first three. Yeah, so basically, he did great works, and he was more even honorable than the three, right? But he, he wasn't of that number, just like um, like the apostles always bring out, Yahushua's favorite disciple was John, but through the Spirit, Peter had to be. That's right. You know, That's right. and that was from Yahweh. That was from his father. So Yahushua, obviously, we know he took instruction. He wasn't proud or anything like that. He accepted it. But his favorite, per, everyone has favorites. You have your favorite shoe. You have, you have your favorite woman. Time. That, you know, Time. Um, your favorite clothes. Time. So Yahushua, he 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 vibe with John. You know, for whatever reason, be it. Um, th they, they were back then creating the whole universe as angels. Right. Right? So they vibe Time. with each other. But God. through the order, it's all about Peter. So it's not about what we think, our perceptions, or, hmm. well, I want it this way, I want it. It's all, it's the most high. That's right. Right, you know? That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's uh, right. We can read to verse Con. 19. Verse 19. Con. Was he not most honorable of the three? Therefore, was the there was their captain? Howbeit he attained not the first three. And being been. Uh, Aya, Aya, the son of Benaiah, Salakia, the son of Jo, 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 jo Jehoiah, Adiah, Salakia, the son of a valiant man of Kabzil, Kabzil, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab, 
He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a pit in time of snow. Hey, I think they put that in the movie too. One of those movies that I saw in the intro, they showed a guy going, it was like all snow and there was a lion and he slew him. You know, they get all those things. That's right. That's right. All these great stories. That's why that's why those movies are so that's why, so that's hot. Why those movies are so so you know? hot. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and and it's crazy because and it, and the people think, oh, that, that looks so wonderful, not knowing that, 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 that it's from the Bible that comes to show you that we know people don't read the Bible. We know people don't read the Bible. You know? Um verse twenty one, and he slew an Egyptian, a goodly man, and the Egyptian had a spear in his hand, but he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. <laughs> hey, that's some that's some skills, yep. man. You know, yep. and and them Egyptians they were known for being tall as hell, man. They were some fierce, you know, like like all those nations, the the, the Mizraimites, the Phili which were Philistines, you know, the all, all the parasites, Hittites, right? All those Hamite, uh, Canaanite uh, uh, tribe, they were they were great tall people, man. They were huge. Chung. They weren't just tall; they Chung. were built, man. They might have been five, six, seven hundred pounds, man, maybe more. Chung. You know, so they were yeah. very great men. But this dude, he went with a, a, a staff, plucked a spear out of his hand and slew him with his own spear, man. You know, these are great things that are, are, are going to come back again, you know, in, in these times, man. You know, I was just saying, these are these are great events that are that are going to happen again. The most has been to ha have, doesn't, does it not say in the book of Ecclesiastes 1? That, that which has been is that which shall be. And the Lord requires that which is past. So he's going to have these great things happen again. Man. That's right. That's right. Um, Verse 22. Um, verse 22. These things did uh, Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, uh, had, 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 had the name among three mighty men. He was more honorable than the 30, but he attained not the first three. And David set him over his guard. David set him over his guard. So he was... Honorable in 30, but he didn't even attain to the first That's right. to that set number. That's right. That's right. You know? That's right. Um, then it comes to mind too. What, what comes to mind is in the book of Acts, chapter one, when uh when after Judas killed himself, um the, the spot was void, so they had to balance, you know, with the twelfth, and um they, they they cast a lot, and I believe it was Matthias, uh he, he was picked. And, and that's just how it goes. Who's Matthias? We don't really know. You know, he wasn't there with the original 12. He wasn't suffering, but he was of that lot. So he's the 12th disciple, which is a very great leadership. Come. You know, that's a great Come. that's a great position. And he got it through the casting of a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, which some people may say, oh, why? Why? You know, which further proves is don't question the most high. That's how he does things, man. He does how he, he does. What that's he right. Does. You know? that's just right. do as he says, man. Just do as he says, man. Yeah. That was it on that. If you had anything, you could bring it out. I had a precept. Uh, you can bring out your precept. Uh, you can bring out your precept. Uh, I'll read it. You can break uh, it down. Uh, right? um, this is uh, First Maccabees 5 and uh, 55. And this is, again, Jake trying to get that glory. This is, it says, Now what time as Judas and Jonathan were in the land of Gilad, and Simon his brother in Galilee, or Galilee, before Ptolemaeus, Joseph, the son of Zacharias, and Azarias, captains of the garrisons, heard of the valiant acts and warlike deeds which they had done. Wherefore, they said, let us also get us a name and go fight against the heathen that are around the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember oh, this yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go into it quickly, but go at the end, quickly, right, they saw how the valiant, end, right, uh, saw uh, how and valiant, this, this is the time of King David, uh, right? This, this is the time of King David, right? No, no, this is the Oh, Matthew, Matthew Slakia. Yeah, yeah oh, so uh, uh, yeah. they yeah. saw how valiant uh, uh, Judas, uh, Judas was, right? Judas, Judas was, right? Huh. And yeah, Judas, yeah, and Judas his right. brother. And what yeah, happened was they wanted to be just like them. You know, it's just like um, you so see just like, these guys um, looking at like Mayweather and all that stuff. And all of a sudden they pick up gloves. Then they can box too and be like, yo, I can face a professional. You know, this is pretty much what how these men were these men were acting. Go ahead, Alder. Yeah, because they said, let us get us a name. Right. So, you know, we want that That's right. That's right. Um, so when, verse 58, so when they had given charge unto the garrison that was with them, they went down, they went toward Jemnia. Then came Gorgias and his men out of the city to fight against them. And so it was that Joseph and Azarias were put to flight and pursued unto the borders of Judea. <laughs> and there were slain that day of the people of Israel, about 2,000 men. Mm. So, so 
that so like you go ahead other no so so basically they put the flight man so they were they were running so they were they were running you know and then they were getting they said they they were slewed by the children of israel two thousand men you know yeah they got their pride cost two thousand israel that's right you know because at the end right and that went that goes back to the point where you said out there if you're if you are fearful you know you you can cause other Israelites to die or other men to die in the war and this is pretty much what happened they were putting themselves in a position that they were not ready for were not experienced you know to to go into and they caused more death among uh the the, the children of Israel than there needed to be because 300 men of the Lord's choosing right took down uh, uh over 120,000 men in an army but because of these men 2,000 uh, men uh, suffered, and died, uh, suffered and died you know it comes to show you do stuff outside the lord it's to your yeah, own destruction it, it, man you can't put yourself in a position that the most High didn't ordain because he'll let destruction come right at you because um i think it's in like first samuel's 15 where it says rebellions as a sin of witchcraft you know if the most High didn't set you up to do certain things man and you're putting yourself there and exalting yourself the most High will cause a calamity on you that's right huh Hundred percent. That's why it says uh, preeminent. Right? Um. So it says. Um. Let's see, I'm gonna look up that word though. <clears throat> preeminent. Yeah. Yeah. See, you messing up. Yeah, go ahead, Elder. Yeah, go ahead, Elder. Uh, it says, verse 61, Thus was there a great overthrow among the children of Israel, because they were not obedient unto Judas and his brethren. Right, so they did. But thought. Right, so, they did. so they weren't. They weren't listening to who the Most High set up to, uh, uh, to uh, order or lead them to victory. They wanted, they wanted to be their own uh, or gain their own glory. You know, and that's the same thing with, with Moses, you know, when Moses was uh, communing with the Lord, did not his brother and sister rise up against him? And then what did Moses do? He punished uh, the sister, you know, leprosy. So that comes to show you, if you don't follow the, the men that the Most High set up, that means you're going to have to pay the... the uh, pay for your rebellion, you know, uh, there is no, oh, I, uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I wanted uh, to I'm make sorry, a name for my, most I ain't hearing that, all right, that. You said, yeah, you gotta right. pay the piper, man, yeah, that's right, yeah, most said not hearing right. that, he, um, he said, I said this, I said these I people said, up, through the spirit of me, listen to what they say, because I will commune with them, you know, go ahead, go ahead, um, I'm also gonna read down verse 67 and 68, because, in the same chapter, it seems like Jake is just bugging out. Oh. It says, um, at that time, certain priests desirous to show their valor were slain in battle. For they, it's like it, for that they went out to fight unadvisedly. It's unadvisedly. It's so unadvisedly. no one told them to join the battle. No to join they the just battle. wanted to fight. And it, went, it said fight. priests, right? They wanted to show their priests, valorous right? acts. Con. And they said they were priests, Con. right, Elder? And they said they were priests, right, Elder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But priests Con. don't fight. Priest you know, priests were never, no, but it, but I can know in the ancient world, yeah, the Maccabees were Levites, so they were, the yeah, come. so they were set up, yeah, but these, they, they were they were under the order of Judas, so they said, you know, again, Jake got proud, you know, because they oh, look at Judas and his men, let's let, let's do some valorous acts, you know, and he got slain, Con. man, because it tells you when uh, in uh, council establishes everything, right. so to speak, uh, roughly That's paraphrasing, right. right? So if you don't get advice, you know, you. You know, you, you're tipping your fall, man. You, you, you can be fall, led free. There's actually, there, there's actually a saying, um, uh, like, like you gotta pay attention to details in war because, um, I'm gonna try to find the quote, but it says basically, without without a nail, uh, the horseshoe is lost. Without a horseshoe, the, the horse was lost. Without a horse, the message was oh, not delivered. Yeah. Without an I remember that. Message, yeah. The, the war was that. lost. Yeah, that's right. You know. Yeah, that's right. Con. So all these little small details, all these little things. That's happen. right. That's right. Verse 68. So Judas turned to Azotus in the land of the Philistines. And when he had pulled down their altars and burned their carved images with fire and spoiled their cities, he returned into the land of Judea. Yeah. 
you know and all yeah. that the, the all of that was all done through what man through deus man through man. the spirit of yahweh yeah. and everybody and else yeah. that didn't follow yeah. judas they perished they didn't return back home that was the example they didn't return you know they they it is pretty much where it says um they they shall die in thy sins man and that's exactly what happened to them and that's exactly what happened to them right you know that was it, yeah, because the most does not yeah, like disorder. Not Why like do you think he's coming back to this destroy, destroy this place? Because, because he said the world, the universe, in an, in an order, and the and this and this age, this, the rulers of these people are completely against that order. Completely, you know. And Jake doesn't want to be in order. Jake don't want to listen to nobody, man. Don't want to listen to nobody, man. Yeah. Yeah, didn't you say? Huh? Huh? You um, um. Yeah, I have uh. Yeah, I have uh. Selakia, let me get one more. Selakia, let me get one more. I have Exodus thirty. Exodus thirty. Selakia, thirty-one and one. Thirty-one and one. Why is this going to twenty-one? Selakia. Selakia. This is Exodus thirty-one and one. This is Exodus and uh, this is showing an example and, uh, why the most of Jews will choose. It says, and Yahweh Shemesh spake unto Moses, saying, see I, called Moses saying, see, I have called by name Bazael, the son of Ara, the son of Har, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the spirit of Yahweh, and in wisdom, and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, to devise cunning works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass, and in cutting of stones, to set them and in carving of timber to work in all manner of workmanship. So nobody could understand workmanship, cunning goals or anything in that knowledge. Goals or anything in that knowledge. Kind yeah, kind of select, yeah. Yeah, kind of Let me reread it again. Let me reread it again. Um, yeah, Exodus 31 and 1, it says, And Yahweh yeah, Shem Mishai spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Ra, and the son of Hor, and the son of tribe of Judah. I filled him with the spirit of Yahweh in wisdom, and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, to devise cunning works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass, and in the cunning of stones, to set them, and in the carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. And that's just showing you that um, the Moses set people with certain knowledge to be in a certain position to do certain things, you know, even pertaining to war, like you said, you know, you have to look at every detail. Only a man with the spirit that Yahweh Shem Shai sets up to know war can truly understand it. You know, even um making the weapons. You know, if you if you good blacksmith to make the weapons, you, you slash the sword and that thing will break. You know, and you're screwed. So everything comes down to it, um the best a person with uh, 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 blackness skills or making armor or strategies on, you know, surrounding the enemies or, you know, a fearless leader. Like, if you have a coward leading the group, that's what the whole entire army is going to be, fearless. Because the person who they look up to is running away, guess what? Everyone else is going to run away. Everyone else is going to run away. Yep, and, and, and um, it tells you as the, as the head of the people, so are the people. Right? Yeah, that's right. You know, because every... I, I, got know, quick, it, I, I got a quick precept just because you brought that out uh, about about different men having different talents and then you can read yours. Um, this is just showing you that it's not a one man army. You know, it's, uh, uh, everyone has different jobs. It, it's not it's not a one man you know on the hill and everyone's just following him. Everyone has their uh, 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 specific talents, right? So this is Ecclesiasticus seventeen and thirty. It says, for all things cannot be in men, because the son of man is not immortal. Right? So meaning, you, you can't do everything. You can think, a, 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 or as the scripture says, your mind museth upon many things, meaning you meditate and ponder upon many things. And sometimes you want to do this, and you, whatever the Lord gives you, and, and whatever your disposition is, that's what you're going to do. That's right. You know, and because that's we're right. not immortal. Hey, we went, we went yesterday into that immortality. That's right. Right, that's right. The, the Howard was bringing it out, you know. All the brothers are bringing it out, so we're gonna be that's mortal. Right. We're gonna be mortal. That's right. 
you know, through, that's through, right. through, the, through the grace and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that's when we're going to do all these, all these amazing that's things. That's right. Right? That's right. Verse 31, what is brighter than the sun? Yet the light thereof faileth, and flesh and blood will imagine evil. You see that? These corrupt that's right. bodies. That's right. Hey. That's why. That's why. That's that. I sold under under sin. Because these fleshes, man, all they do is work wickedness, man. If it wasn't for these scriptures and the spirit of Yahweh, we'd be done. Finished. That's right. That's right. Finished. Yep. Verse thirty-two. He vieweth the power of the height of heaven, and all men are but earth and ashes. Yeah, all men. Yep. And then all men. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just saying all men are but earth and ashes, all so there's nothing to be proud, man. We're easy to be done away with. We have we have no might in right. these bodies. No you, hey, if a hammer falls on your toe, man, and you might have to go to a hospital, you know, in case it breaks a bone or you're sore or you trip and you fall wrong on your arm. I mean, man, we, we're we're little, you know. Yep. Yeah, man. Hey, like uh, in uh, during the time of the Black Death, you had a song. That's where you get that song. Uh, ring around the rosy pocket full of yeah, yeah, it's just ashes. ashes. We all fall down, yeah, black yeah, yeah, yeah. because those yeah, sores, play, those are the sores on your on your skin. Ring around the rosy, Tom. right? You got the, you got those rings on your on uh, from the bubonic and pneumonic plague, and then it says ashes, ashes. We all, we're just ashes, man. That's, That's all right. We are, you know. That's right. And, and um, just one more precept. This is uh, Psalm sixty-two, verse nine. Surely men of low degree are vanished. Mm. So this is showing you different degrees and levels. And men of high degree are alive. So it's showing you that there's men of low and high degree, right? <laughs> but it says to be laid in the balance, they are all together lighter than mm. right? Because again, there's levels like we bring out high and low right. in, in, in the kingdom. Right. It, it does tell you in the book of Isaiah, the the uh, if you can remember how it goes, the smallest Israelite will be yeah. Uh, like a thousand, yeah. or, you know, like a nation. That's right. So it's That's showing right. you that the smallest one, and in the book of Zechariah, it says uh, uh, the most smallest one again shall be like David. Roughly yeah, paraphrasing, you know? Yeah. Um, kind of just wait for a brother to come back. Let's see. Find that precept, Lord's will. Satan, man, this thing is coming out. Can't stop it, man. Can't stop it. We're, we're flowing, man. Satan can't yeah, stop come. it. Yeah, uh, come. Yeah, but um, yeah. So you know, again, like, 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 you compare like Solomon and 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 and, and to like uh, I don't know, like one of the small prophets or something. It's 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 low and high, sure. right? But sure. uh, it tells Yahweh Shai, which through the spirit we know was Solomon. That that might be too chewy for some people out there, but um. That's that's what it was, and he said Solomon in all his glory was not as one of these when he compared him to a right. you see see how they that's don't right. toil nor turn, they stay balanced, rooted, and he said Solomon in all his glory he was a man of high degree he was not glorious right. in all this. so so again going into Psalm sixty two men of high degree are alive because we're all going that's up, right you know that's right. That's right. It, it don't matter you, right. yes you have a great disposition to do great things right but you still go off and when you break one line that's you break right. all and it tells you. There's not been one person that has not sinned upon the earth. Right. So it's it's all in the right. it's all in the balance that we're all vain. We're That's all vain. right. So again, That's right. you have a great disposition of truth, you're a top leader or whatever you are, you're still earth and ashes, man. So so don't get That's above right. that. You know? That's right. You take the humble route. Um, you just, take the humble route. That's right. I'm just trying to find that precept in uh Zechariah. Yeah, I think it's twelve. Or no, fourteen yeah, and twelve. Or no, fourteen and twelve. Oh, I got it. Twelve and eight. Oh, Salakia. Oh, Salakia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zechariah twelve verse. I'll start at seven. The Lord Yahweh Bashimi Shai also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah, which the inhabitants of Jerusalem is actually the north. That's right. Because the That's house right. of, house of David was the southern kingdom, uh, and 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 the inhabitants of Jerusalem represents the northern kingdom because. When you read um, Samuel's when when uh, chapter five either first or second, um, when David was being crowned, it tells you all Israel right. were there. That's all right. the Israelites were in Jerusalem and they crowned him as their king. So you you specs out there talking about no 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 Moreno no Negro. You guys had a black king so to speak. So yeah. black a 
Okay, you had a Moreno. <laughs> Uh, but um, it says, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, right? So the the, the smallest, feeblest brother, he's going to be like David, which if you know anything about David, he was he slew scores of thousands of, of, of That's people. right. He's a great That's warrior. Right. That's right. And the house of David That's shall right. be as the most high. Mm. So the house of David, that's power. That's right. That's, that's power. Right. They're going to be like Broly from Yeah, Broly. that's right. You can't yeah, control that. Right. <laughs> As the angel of Yahweh Shai before. Richard Yahweh Shai. Richard Yahweh Shai. That's right. You know? Verse 9 uh -huh. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Khan. Hey, and that uh, comes to show you, man, you nations will have you, man, no chance when this happens. Just like how no we had no chance when Esau happened. came. Like and took us down. The same thing that's gonna happen. Yeah. Because yeah, he still had the same happen. spiritual power. He came with his uh, bio warfare. The Most High blessed him with uh, uh, firearms. That's, right. that's power. That's right. Hey, just break down the word firearm. That's power. You actually shoot that's right. fire. You know. Because right. when when that when that's, that's when that when you shoot that gun, the spark, that's that fire, man, and, and it hits you in the burst, man. That's right. Out. That's right. And then especially that's when right. Esau got uh, uh, the coat, the uh, the coat, uh, I think the Winchester. You know, the, the, the repeater rifle, he went to conquer the West. Then he had the Gatling gun. Those yeah. were all miracles, yeah. all spiritual powers, yeah. man, because yeah. people were, they never signed That's right. Like that, man. You know, they said the arrows. Right. You know, they so they're looking, the arrows. they're like, what yeah. the heck is that? And you just, do, 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 and you're seeing right. bodies drop, like, in a second. You're like, what the? You're tripping, man. You're just like, whoa. You're tripping, man. Then they, had, like, then they even had uh, uh, certain cannons. I forget what it was, the, the name of it. But they had, they had cannons, man, that shot out shells that exploded, man. So it was... It was all hell, That's man. Right. It, was, it was spiritual power. That's right. And it devastated us. So like you said, our, we're going to get, you know, the men are going to get that power, the men of the Lord, um, and it's going to devastate them. It's going to bug them out because, you know, they go, like you made that, I think you made that great point yesterday about at one time a gun was 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 strange to people. Like it was, wow. It was yeah, wonderful. that's right. It was like yeah, a miracle that's right. to see a gun. Like, what, what, what is this? You know, like same thing with a telephone or electricity or whatever. All these were wonders at one point. Now it's normal. Well, guess what? It, uh, like you said, men flying and, and, and shooting lasers out of their eyes and, and doing things like in Marvel, right. which is funny how why right. they call it Marvel. Gun. Marvel means to yeah, wonder right. at. You know, wow, look yeah, at this. Right. You, know, um, <laughs> you know, that's what these nations are going to do, man. They're going to wonder at our power, man. Gone. Oh, your, your phone's about to die? Yeah, Khan's at 3% right now. Yeah, Khan's at 3% right now. All right. We'll, we'll, uh, whatever you got, bring it out, and then we'll close it off. Um, no, I had I brought up my last priest of the um, Exodus no, I had, I 31. I brought up my last priest of the Exodus 31. Okay. All right, then. Yeah. You, you got anything to say? One. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that yeah. was it. All right, then. Yeah. You want, to, want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles of GMS that rule well, who we learn the truth from. And salutations unto your brothers and your sisters out there. May help by Shimmy Osha increase you. Right? So, shalom. Shalom.